So we're out again. Be expecting some of this. And why I choose at the moment the legend over the days two as my primary detector. Alright, enjoy. Alright, so I've had a few buttons. This looks like uh, it was a kid's side back in the day. Uh, it's got two holes there, a serrated edge around the, the side. Uh, a whirly gig, the serrated edge, give it that whirly noise as the, uh, the items spun around uh, hanging on a piece of string. Yeah, the LG30 did okay on it, out of four coins, uh, three of them were silver. Yeah, triple silver. Uh, and I'll put that video at the end of, of this video if you haven't already seen it. Performed really good, especially on this land as you'll see in that video. Uh, there's a bit more info about about this land and uh, yeah it's, it's been done done and done the 34 really singing out there's that much noise going on in the ground I've, uh, I've turned ground off uh, be a coin yeah could be a coin that Half penny summit runs. There we go, yeah, half penny, runs half penny. Oh, it's a nice one as well. It's a nice one, considering it's a widow wed, Queen Victoria. 1899. I've just switched over to part mode. Uh, with the same settings. One of the forties. Give that a dig. Yeah, I, I feel, uh, and I'm sure that part mode is for bad condition soil, for hard to read. Where field is like a bit more open and less. Less contaminated ground. I hope it's not another one of those. Uh, it's in here, whatever it is. That's all it is. Size of that. A bit of leather with a stud in it. So, yeah, believe it or not, I do have. A day is two. Looking at my channel and got my not to macro and my legend top on, it does look like I am a fanboy. Now I'll t I'll tell you the reason why I don't use the day is two, and I prefer using a legend. Now I, I I don't like using the VDI on a detector. I I like the audio so the best audio you can get on a detector tonal selection is it open not in segments because you still got to look at the id you, you, you can look at the idea less but there's a lot more nuances in the tone with multi-tone so full tone 50 tone and 60 tone 90 100 tone so i've had about 300 hours on the legend about 100 on the days two now when i've been out using the full tones on the Deus 2. Now I haven't just been out on my own, I, my son comes out with me as well and he uses the Deus 2 and we do comparisons. The Legend in 60 tone performs a lot better than the Deus 2 in full tone. At the moment, this is, this is at the moment without any updates, so we're on 1.10 and 0.71 on the Deus 2. I'm not being biased, I, I want I want to use Deus 2, it's, it's a great detector. These detectors now, the Legend, the Manticore, the Nox, the Deus 2, are all on quite a similar performance level. There's not much in it whatsoever. I know that from looking at videos, I've only got the Deus 2, but I've done, I've used the Deus 2, and there's not much difference apart from the weight and the price. So, let, let's just get to the price section. The coils, 
on the legend are like under 200 pound for all the coils the day is two we've all got two coils out uh, they're 350 pound for whatever size coil they are the legend costs 500 pound on its own with a standard coil day is two is 1400 that you get the headphones uh, so I think if you get the pro pack it's 600 and odd for the legend and the manticore is 1800 the Knox 900 is just a thousand pound so with with the performance there is not there's not much in it if anything the legend is better than the days too I know that in full tones but in full tones if if you're not in the target if you change it to pitch or two tone it will hit it I think there's something wrong with full tones and that's how I want to use it and that is why I'm using the legend over the days too when they sort it out I will be using the days too because I, I like I like how it works I like how it swings it's nice and light now in full tone if you put it in square tone which is a simplified tone full tone does sound better it does sound better in PWM it blends in too much so the background near iron it doesn't it doesn't pop the, the non-ferrous target doesn't pop uh, so a lot of people do use full tone but they use it in square tone but why should you have to simplify a 1400 pound detector so the difference in cost difference compared to the performance difference isn't in relation to the performance difference so the performance difference is near enough the same it's like that the cost difference is huge so that's just my views that's my personal views on uh, what's going on with the prices of these detectors to the performance and just the way it seems as though because it costs more it's gonna find you more I mean you can't go out into a field and think all oh, right I found a gold coin with this detector or I found more silver with that detector than the other because most of the top detectors would find that anyway I get more impressed with a detector if it finds like a coin on edge or a small light and deep or something next to iron whatever it is if it's a button or if it's a tiny speck of bronze that has got no meaning that that impresses me more than oh uh, the dais or the legend or the mine lab found a half sovereign uh, because that shows performance not that you swung your coil over a gold coin set a button up here it's not a standard button there's a bit of gold gilt on there does anybody know what these are it's like the end of a bullet but they give off good signal it's come up 32 33 uh, but so does silver uh, so you can't really go off the ID you've got to dig them because they just sound so so good yeah does anyone know what they bloody are because they're doing my bloody heading so this is I I am I am biased to not to in a way because I appreciate I just appreciate the price to performance that they're allowing us to have people that can't really afford to pay 1800 I don't think many people can because it costs more it's supposed to be better but it's far from that it's far from that you get greed you can go to Marks and Spencer's and get a bottle of Head and Shoulders for four or five quid can't you or you can go to Home Bargains and get it for £1.50 um, it's the same with everything at the moment and with this detector this detector will find anything that the other brands will find um, and even on benchmark tests which are extreme tests in extreme circumstances that will might never come along ever in your lifetime with nails like this and nails like that and nail on top it might you might never swing over anything like that in your lifetime the days two on the legend are performing at a very similar level apart from the full tone now just to finish that off that is why i will be using the days two if they sort out the full tone that is why it's my backup detector 
because I can't use it the way I want to hunt. If you've got the money and you want to flash out on a fancy screen that does have to work for you uh, but if you can tune your ears into the tone uh, the tone will always be more mightier than a VDI by far the, the sound machines the audio machines this what come this is what come later on with the ID and stuff like that so yeah we'll carry on hunting could be on something nice here nice sweet fluty tone oh it's changed a lot going that way Let's be a nice piece of silver on edge of something like that at an angle. It's only a big penny. So in the hole. Is it? No, it's there. Let's pick up the edge of it. Oh, it's not Ali, is it? You see how it sounded good, but then as I rotated it kind of, the noise warped. That was telling me not to dig. I didn't listen and I paid the price. Well this was coming uh, a 33, like them little hat things. And it had a lot of iron going on, so there must be iron in the ground. And you do get a bit of an iron. And iron sound, but that's in great condition that bag seal. Have a look at it. I'll give that a clean. Look at that. That's in superb condition. Got one done. Whatever that means. Super something. And it's over 150 years old. It's got the date on the back. Maybe that's September 1862. Uh, like I say, on the uh, ferro check as well, it was 50-50. But that's in superb nick, that. I'm happy with that. Find of the day. Do you ever get that where you just think, why did I actually, why did I bother? Why did I bother? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, so if you, if you want to see some finds, if you look at this top corner here, or there, uh, there's a link that'll take you to this same field with the LG 30 coil and uh, you'll see three silvers get pulled up. All right, like and subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, I'll appreciate the, the support. Thank you.